Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the one and only ABB, and I got with me today a very special co-host, my sister, Zena Faye. Say what's up, Zena. What's up, family, with this lockdown? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys see the subject matter. I'm going to tell you right off the bat that this lockdown, pandemic, quarantine is going to make or break a lot of relationships. Now, I knew that I would talk about this subject matter uh, about two weeks ago, and it just so happened yesterday, I was in my car and I was listening to the radio, and the radio host was telling of a story regarding a couple who had not seen one another since this pandemic. The girlfriend wants to practice social distancing. She's by the book. Whereas the boyfriend, he misses his girlfriend. He wants to see her. He says he misses her. But because the girlfriend does not want to break the rules, he's threatening to break up with her. Now, on one hand, some of you guys may think that, you know, he misses her so much. He may be putting pressure on her to get her to come and see him or vice versa but then on the other hand you can look at it as this was just an excuse for him to get out of the relationship yeah so i'm using that story as a premise because again this situation this lockdown and this quarantine this pandemic is going to make or break a lot of relationships I don't care if you are practicing social distancing or if you are living together with your husband, your wife, your lover, whatever the case may be. And let me tell you why these relationships are going to be strained. As I've said time and time again, the energies that is hitting the planet is forcing a lot of stuff that a lot of us have buried and hidden away or tried to hide away. Mm -hmm. For a very long time, it's forcing a lot of stuff to the surface. There's no escaping it. It is being pushed to the surface for us to deal and potentially heal. Exactly. Ain't that a nice ring? That's a nice ring. <laughs> yes. And y'all, this is right off the top of my head. We are doing this completely <laughs> freestyle. All right. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I think I'm going to make that a quote. <laughs> but either we're going to put in the work and make amends and heal or we're going to have a situation where there are those who don't want to heal or deal and they're going to look for a reason to break the relationship off now i want to specifically talk about people who live together because you have no other choice but to be in the same space there are a lot of things that kept a lot of couples very preoccupied and very busy to the point that by the time you get home, you barely got enough energy and a, um, and focus to say hi to one another, let alone give each other some intimate time and to get in each other's head mm -hmm. and space and to see what one another's need is or may be. And mind you, many of these couples have been carrying on like this for years. Mm -hmm. I used to work with people who used to love being at work because they hated going home. People who are in... Uh, that particular situation just imagine what they have to contend with and what they have to look at because there's nowhere to run nowhere to hide exactly not only that you home with your husband your wife your girlfriends whoever your significant others then the kids home yeah you know everybody home locked down for how many months this pandemic been well it's been on? about a month now about a month and so, so and, you know and i don't think a lot of families probably really haven't spent that much time together during the whole duration that they have been actually been together. Yes. So this is a test to see. And like a, a test. It is a test. It is also a time for work, mm -hmm. a time for self-reflection. But again, how many couples are going to look at all their stuff, pull it up, be transparent with one another and begin dissecting each piece one at a time it's much easier to either stay in uh, separate rooms in the house which i'm sure that is mm -hmm. going on as well or one is particularly 
throwing themselves in front of the children to stay preoccupied with the children so that they don't have to deal with the spouse. Mm -hmm. You see how all the layers can start coming together in different ways. But again, if you're not really dealing, it can really create a very toxic and volatile situation. So now we're dealing with the stuff that we have not dealt with for a very long time that's coming to the surface. Then the stuff that's going on in the household with the children, then with the bills, because some people are not getting a check. Mm -hmm. So a lot of couples are being faced to deal with financial, financial hardship, crisis. at least until the government really gets some kind of uh, uh, relief in place for everybody. Because mm -hmm. right now it's still a lot of confusion around that. So there's tension in a lot of households right about now. Right. Um, so whether you are in the household with your spouse or there's a, a distancing going on, everybody has to come to the realization that no matter where you are, you have to go and put in that work. You have to put in that work. If you are in a marriage or in a relationship and you know in your heart of heart that it is not working for you, it's time to make some very, very serious decisions. Mm -hmm. Because again, as these energies hit this planet, as, as more events unfold, because we're going to have other events that's going to be very challenging. And in order to get through it, you have to cut off the dead weight. Yeah. And you have to make some really, really, really tough decisions and begin coming together as a couple and begin assigning um, a social responsibility, mental accountability, respectively. And if you guys can't come to uh, one accord, then some tough decisions have to be made. I said a long time ago, a lot of relationships are going to really be strained uh, this time. And don't look at it as a negative. Look at it as a necessity. If you want to be one to stand strong through all the radical changes the world is going through right now. Yeah, and my thing is, if you're not happy as an individual, you have to find peace within yourself you know a lot of people stay in these relationships because they worrying about what other people may think what the churches may think what everybody may think of them but when it's all mm -hmm. said and done you have to find that inner peace for yourself because i have seen a lot of couples who stay in relationships marriages years on end and then they die of a broken heart because they never found that peace. They were never happy. They were never they, ever. I mean, happy. they 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 weren't happy during the time that they should have been very vocal about, mm -hmm. very honest about saying so. So they carried that burden mm -hmm. on their heart and that weight on their heart. And I'm glad you said that because these energies is having a powerful effect on our heart. Our heart is very magnetic. We are magnetic by nature, but the core right. of who we are is in the heart. So we're carrying these things. These are matters of the heart. This is why, again, I wanted to talk about it. I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, you know, and I be hearing all these people, oh, it's cheaper to keep them and his this. Okay, but when it's all said, are you happy? Right. Are you truly, truly, truly happy? Are you, you at know, peace with the way things are? With the way things are. And if you are, then you know I'm not gonna knock you, but if you not and you that type of person that got that that willpower, you know, you know, I'm not dealing with this no more. Pick yourself up, get yourself together. You may, if you got kids, you make arrangements with your significant yeah. others. You know, find that balance for your kids. Cause believe it or not, when you and when the husband and wives or girlfriend boyfriends or whoever you with, when that turmoil is among you the kids it trickles over it, to the, the children kids, yeah. it, it really affects the children yeah so when it all said and done you have to find that balance for that child sometimes separation is good if you can't come to any agreement and if you can come to agreement you have to really diligently work really hard to keep that relationship together that's the thing hard work it's mm -hmm. hard work anything worth having it's hard work. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of us don't like that kind of hard work when it comes to matters of the heart and being vulnerable and being transparent. But we got to put that kind of stuff to the side. Mm -hmm. we, there's no other way. So what I would like to suggest, if you are someone who's in a relationship right now and you're not happy with the way things are, 
take out a sheet of paper and write down and the, the pros, pros and, the and the cons. If the pros outweigh the cons, then you have something to work with. If your cons far outweigh your pros, you got some tough decisions to make. I can't tell you what that decision is. I think you can read between the lines. And then I would challenge you to, or at least get you to ask your counterpart to do the same. And even if you have to do it at a distance, just begin the dialogue. Start it now because until we are to the point where we are realizing the golden golden age, so to speak, it's not going to get any easier. Right, because this energy going to force you to truly see people for who they really are. Yeah. When a time you can't escape it, and you're not going to be able to hide it, because if you down, true down, deep down in your heart, know you are really miserable, mm -hmm. it's time for you to scoot your boots. <laughs> and get the rolling out that door and as someone I know what I'm talking about it because I've been down that path and I've been down that road so I know what I'm talking about it ain't gonna be easy but as you came in this world by yourself you're gonna leave it out this world by yourself so if you want to leave please leave in peace and yeah. happiness now some people may be in a position where they want to leave but they can't afford it and this is where you may have to Slay bite the back. bullet and ask a brother or sister or mother or a parent or someone if you can't um, live in the same quarters together. If once this thing is up, when it's let up a little bit, if you can come and live with them, pay rent, pay for a room or whatever, or make some kind of arrangement to live somewhere else until you're able to get on your own feet. That's if it's too unbearable or too volatile to stay in the same place right. together. Or what people can do, you have a lot of people these days in time, we live in beyond our, our means. If you feel like you, you're you not happy, you have to set some form of schedule. With yeah, cut back your spending. Worked yeah. out uh -huh. situation where you could be what they call room, room and borders. You work to get out your financial issues, pay off all your bills. Meanwhile, stop spending unnecessarily. S build your finances and when each of, each of you are comfortable, Y'all make arrangements if you have children, and it's even easier if you don't have children. Yeah. But when you have children, it's complex. It's even more complicated. Yeah. So you have to. But really, it can be done. Yeah, but it can We've seen be it. done. You have to really, truly, truly work, 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 really, really, really hard. And I'm telling you, it's nothing like your hap your, your, your happiness, happiness and your, and your peace your of mind freedom and peace of mind mm -hmm. yes yeah, there's some people that are itching to you know got little side pieces out yeah. there we i mean hey we we grown yeah. got that, side pi yeah. pieces and itching to get to that i mean there's so many different levels and layers we can go hell, to hell these cell phones make it even easier for them to be cheap yeah 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 that's the other side so again you know, wanting to have your cake and eat it too ain't gonna work in this day and age. Nope. Not, nope, this energy is not going to allow it. That's what I'm telling y'all. This is the main point. This energy is purifying and recalibrating and forcing us to deal. If we can't deal, you're gonna be tossed and you're gonna be toiling mm -hmm. and pining. You're just gonna make things that much more difficult for yourself and those who are affected by the choices that are being made. Mm -hmm. So we kind of gave a little bit of advice. Um, now, nine months from now, there's definitely gonna be on the opposite end of things. They're gonna be explosion and babies. Wow. But <laughs> but and at the same the time, system these days of time, I don't I don't, I don't tell what people what not what to do these days of time. You better zip them pocket books and, and and put a, yeah. a piece of bread over those penises yeah. Yeah. and not have no kids because you can't raise kids these days of time without the system trying to tell you how to yeah. raise them because the system raising your kids, not you because you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. It's just a mess out here. Yeah, that's a whole nother conversation yes, right there, so. you know. Um, but, you know, when it's all said and done, we all have to make the best choices for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And to do so, we got to get honest. We got to strip naked and bare and deal with the truth 
honor the truth, respect the truth, and move in truth. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's it's just really hard for a lot of people to do because we're too busy trying to live up to the expectations mm -hmm. of others. We're too busy worried about what other people are going to think right. if we live and own our truth. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, now is the time to work, to make it happen, and to just just make find it happen, y'all. Just make you it happen. I don't want to sound piece. like a broken record. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't want to make this video too long. Just some food for thought. I want y'all to share any advice that you want to leave the viewers. Or if you've gone through a situation mm -hmm. with being in a relationship you know is not going to work for you. Mm -hmm. Leave some advice, you yeah, know. Give positive feedback. No negative. Yeah. We, don't, we don't go for that. Yeah, here. We, we don't, don't do that. Next. No better than nobody. I'm, exactly. I'm just like you. My brother, just like you, give feedback to help others be respectful. Respectful exactly. to help other people to build their confidence and build, you know, their strength to make the right decisions. Right. But to those who are making it work, you're connecting now more than ever, and you know that you're with the love of your life kudos good for you you guys mm -hmm. are going to continue to be challenged through these mm -hmm. very perilous times but i salute your love i salute your relationship and Zena, thank you very much for making this video and with you're me welcome sis. and i would like to send out there to the universe and beyond i send love light love light to you all and you all love beyond measure continue to question learn and grow all right see you around the next time